Hello, my name is Jason and welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. In this video, we're not thinking or talking about binoculars at all. No, instead, we're going to be taking an initial look as well as the setup for the Thermal Eye T2 Pro. This tiny little dinky device connects to your smartphone, allowing you to not only view but also record the thermal images it captures. And we're going to start right now. So I've been looking for a new compact and preferably inexpensive thermal imaging device that I can easily take on my hiking and camping trips for a while now. Thus, when Infiray contacted me and asked if I would be interested in testing their new T2 Pro Thermal Eye Camera, a truly tiny device that they said would easily attach and connect with my smartphone, turning into a thermal imaging camera, I of course was interested and agreed. And thus within a week or so the package arrived on my doorstep. So what exactly is the Infiray T2 Pro? Well, to begin with, the package consists of their tiny T2 Pro thermal camera. As well as this, you get a laser locator, a handle with which to hold the camera, and the mounting bracket. Along with this, you also get connecting cables and a protective case to store the camera in when not in use. Before I tested it, one of my main concerns about the T2 Pro was just how easy it was going to be to set it up and get it all working with my phone. As in the past, I've had mixed results with connecting and using gadgets like optical devices and adapters designed to be used with your phone. And I've found that if something is a pain to set up, I tend to stop using it quite quickly. However, once I got my head around how the camera, my phone and the mount with the included handle all fitted together, actually getting it to work was really simple indeed. First off, I downloaded the app onto my phone, and just as a quick test before I even tried out the handle and the camera mount, I decided to connect the cable from the thermal camera to my phone. To my surprise, the app opened up, and hey presto, I almost immediately had a thermal image displayed right there on the screen of my phone. Because I had not yet connected the camera and my phone to the mount, the image was a little bit shaky and it also happened to be upside down, which did perplex me a little at first, but this was easily remedied in the options section on the app. After this quick test, I decided to put the package all together. Once again, and as with the app, the installation and getting it to work on my phone all came together much more easily than I had anticipated. Another aspect that really impressed me was just how stable the entire system is. Most of the parts, apart from the handle, are made from what looks like to me to be machined aluminium, and the clamp holds both your phone, the camera, and the laser sight very securely in place. The fact that the thermal imager is its own camera and does not use the camera on your phone is great because there is no need to perfectly line up the lens with the camera on the phone as is often the case with other optical attachments that I've used in the past and thus this makes setup and the use much 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 simpler. I also really like how you can easily remove and then replace your phone from the mount without having to dismantle the rest of the parts. All I need to do is attach my phone to the clamp and then plug in the cable and I'm off viewing and recording thermal images and video. Speaking of which, provided you have the storage on your phone, I found recording photos and videos literally as simple as the press of a button on the app. So as you can see in the background, included in this video are some of the images as well as some of the video footage that I've taken so far using this thermal eye. As with most thermal cameras, there are a number of different color palettes to choose from. As to which one is the best, this will depend on the exact circumstances and what it is you're looking at.
As this is just an initial thoughts video, I'm not going to conclude all the specifications and details on the T2 Pro. I will leave that for the full review on the BBR website, the link to which you will find down in the comment section below. But what I would like to say is, I think for me the best way to sum up the T2 Pro Thermal Eye is to say that much like an SLR camera versus the camera on your phone, this device obviously can't compare to a high-end thermal imager, but the build quality Ease of setup and use, as well as the performance, is far, far better than what I had expected before receiving it. Thus, just as with photography, pro photographers will still use an SLR camera to get the very best results. But for the average casual user, the camera on most cell phones these days is perfectly sufficient and you can often get surprisingly good results with it. You also get the added bonus of almost always having it at hand, meaning you are more likely to use it more often and then also capture something that you might not have otherwise. So based on my initial thoughts, would I say that the Infiray uh, T2 Pro Thermal Eye is perfect? No, not at all. But at the same time, I have no hesitation in recommending it to those looking to get into thermal imaging, or who like me want a thermal imager that does not cost the earth and is easy to carry about and take with you on your next outdoor adventure, as you never know what footage you may be able to capture out there.